Tim. Avi Myers grew up in South Chicago and South Shore, began his lifetime journalism career while he was still a student at the Jewish Day School System. By the time he was through with college, he'd been the editor-in-chief of religious and secular newspapers, high school and college papers, as well as play-by-play -play announcer for the Morris Redskins and the Coal City Kohlers. They cost me some money once. I remember that. Now he has a list of publications of not-for-profits that totals more than a thousand over the years. Since 1991, he's produced and hosted a cable television show, which gives views of neighborhood organizations, politics, law enforcement, and the judicial system. The award-winning program, Northtown News Magazine, covers crime and problems, uh, problem buildings, and is coordinated with the Chicago Police Department. He continues to be a beat facilitator, covering multiple police beats as well as the county's complex 26th and California legal system. And I think that's an understatement right there. Avi Myers, ISCC Award for Excellence in Community Outreach. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank the Illinois State Crime Commission for presenting me with their Community Outreach Award. Uh, special thanks to Executive Director Jerry Elsner and Wanda Brunke for helping me and my guests um, get properly kosher certified TV dinners tonight. We thank you very much. I I'm humbled by the fact that it was uh, Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart who nominated me for this award. Not so much because he's one of Time Magazine's 100 most influential people, beca but because I've realized from the first time I interviewed him what a truly outstanding person he is with a great drive and desire to help make our community a better place to live. The idea for the News Magazine show was originally started by Michael C. Moses, who happens to be here tonight. And as president of the Northtown Community Council, it was his idea to try to produce a regular TV show that would chronicle a neighborhood uh, to highlight the nonprofit charitable organizations, the public officials, and as well as the law enforcement community. And at this point, 18 years later, 480 shows, over 70,000 watches on YouTube, three national awards for best news show and making a difference in the community, at tonight's award, and here we are. Most important of all to our efforts is Sonny Hirsch, and he's on the camera over there in the back with the red light on, and a lot of this show will actually appear on, uh, a lot of the tonight's banquet will appear on TV. Um, he came along in year number two and grew to become the entire technical crew over time. Over the years, Sonny assembled the right equipment, and used his technical know-how to assemble our very own complete TV set. The show is nonprofit, and more correctly, it probably costs both of us money, although we get an occasional filming job out of it. It's truly a labor of love. Sonny's the chairman of the Chicago Police Department's 24th District Advisory Committee, widely considered the most vibrant community policing district in Chicago. Sonny is one of the original founders of CAPS citywide. Fifteen years ago, I was talked into becoming a beat facilitator for a couple of months and a permanent replacement would be found thereafter. Well, I'm still waiting. For, um, I've had a chance to have a first-hand look at this, the world of law enforcement, the courts, the prisons, police,